Hello everyone, uh, this is Kevin from Canadian Hobby Guys. Um, obviously, you know, more into the hobby stuff, doing the shooting reviews and doing RC airplane helicopter reviews, all that good stuff. Um, just in the process, I've got a bunch of new planes and everything up and going, ready to get up in the sky for a bunch of maidens. And I just thought I would kind of do a little bit of a review here on another product that has nothing to do with the hobby area, but something that definitely any good hobbyist should have. Um, as hobbyists, we know that Spectrum has some iPad, iPhone apps for your telemetry and your telemetry module. So probably a lot of you guys are out there using the telemetry, hooking it up to your iPad, hooking it up to your iPhone, and uh, getting your data off that. Awesome for that. One thing that should go with you everywhere that you go if you are, you know, going out there and doing your stuff as well as just regular stuff is the LifeProof iPhone 4 case. This thing is waterproof, dirtproof, snowproof, shockproof, and man, it lives up to it. Um, big shout out to LifeProof, you know. Uh, they have come out with a top quality, top notch product that I am 150% satisfied with. I have taken my iPhone, just to show it works here, turns on, you see the date and everything, this thing, you know, has taken a beating. I've dropped it, you know, I've dropped in the water, in the mud, on the ground, you know, everything that's lived up to it. Uh, my daughter's played with it in the bathtub using FaceTime and, you know, talking to her grandparents, you know, and waving underwater. And I've taken it in and taken pictures underwater with it. You know, I trust this thing 100%. But the reason why I'm kind of doing this review is not only is all the stuff that you've seen on the other videos great knowledge, great stuff, you know, what they've told you, you know, I kind of wanted to give you my uh, experience with the life proof uh, case and what it's actually gone through with me um, so yeah I've done all that stuff that you've seen on the other videos and that but I wanted to talk about a different torture test that I didn't intend to do but inadvertently did now if you can look close you probably see I've got a lot of different holes in what looks like bite marks well they are bite marks in fact uh, I've got two large breed dogs I've got a Shepherd Husky cross, and I have got a full German Shepherd. And I was out playing with my phone, doing work in the yard, and did not clip it in properly, and I dropped the phone, which is not a big deal. Um, but I did not know that I had dropped the phone, so I went back inside. Uh, after about half an hour, maybe 45 minutes, I come out, and the dogs are playing with the phone, tossing it up in the air, uh, spinning it around, chasing after it, fighting over it, you know, just what dogs, puppies do, because they're, the one's only six months old and the other one's about a year and a half. So, what I'm saying here is you can see the marks. So for a half an hour, 45 minutes, this is the damage that incurred from the dogs. They chewed on it, you know, you see the bite marks into there and everything. Uh, the only real puncture mark, I don't know if you can kind of see, is right at the bottom where one of the canine teeth kind of slipped in between the uh, padding on the side. So, torture test that I didn't intend on doing was giving it to pl be played with by two dogs. But two dogs that are chewers, puppies of course as well, this thing survived it. I took it out of the case, not a mark on the phone, you know, big thumbs up here. And just a shout out to LifeProof, you know, you make a top quality product, you know, the only thing that's keeping me from replacing this case, even though it's perfectly fine right now, is, you know, obviously, these cases are expensive, and, you know, are, you know, and it's well worth the price, it's well worth the investment. It's just the only thing that's kind of keeping me from replacing it right now because right now it's still protected, still doing its job. Just with the one puncture mark, I'm not going to trust it underwater anymore. So before I go and do any more underwater stuff and, and all that good stuff, um, you know, I'm going to get a new one. But if LifeProof's out there listening, 
you know, huge torture test. Big kudos to them. If they want to send me a new one, awesome. Uh, another thing that I would like to ask LifeProof out there, please, please, hurry up with the development and distribution of the iPad 3 uh, case for the iPad. That would be awesome. Hey guys, just one last comparison on the LifeProof case for your iPhone 4. Uh, as I showed before, you know, the marks that were there. you got to be very careful what your dogs get a hold of. And to kind of give you a comparison, here's a Bic lighter uh, that fell out of my pocket that they got a hold of. Now, we all know how thick the Bic lighters are. Um, right there, boom, tooth mark right through it. So that was five minutes with a Bic lighter and German Shepherd and Husky uh, chewing on it. Boom, right there, 45 minutes, half an hour, playtime with the same dogs. And it's still kicking. Better than uh, this Bic lighter, seen better days. But awesome comparison to show you like going through like this is nice hard plastic so awesome job like proof